Welcome to London Gatwick Airport, local time 10 past 10. Be aware of social distancing and allow time and space when you disembark. Hello, thought I'd do a bit of an update. Um, oh, before I start, if you're wondering why I have a hat on while I sit in my living room, it's because I'm deep conditioning my hair, not because I'm cold. Boxes, boxes. Right, at the last, at the end of my last vlog, I'd, so my last vlog was about me popping, hear the joke, popping to London to sort out my vacating my flat and selling my car and stuff. We are now in February and I'm still here. I've had one, two, three flights cancelled. Anyway, so the last month, my life has been going out of my front door via eBay sales and Gumtree giveaways and neighbourhood um, website app giveaways. Those books are some of the last few things to be boxed up in those boxes. Those boxes aren't mine. Those are my flatmate stroke lodgers box boxes. That's a whole nother story. Um, uh, it's not a story. I don't know why I'm being melodramatic anyway, but she doesn't know whether she's coming or going and what she's doing, but I have to vacate my flat um, because uh, I'm renting it out. So, um, yeah, I'm still here. I've got to show you this. This is what I've had to resort to. Right, let me, um, yeah, let me flip around, show you what I'm watching on my TV. Right, this is, this is my video. This is the view from my bedroom back in Portugal on the Silver Coast. This is, the, obviously, this is a sunrise. What I did one day, it was such a beautiful day. Obviously, there was a lot of rain and bad weather um, before I left. And this morning, it was so beautiful. It was such a beautiful sunrise. So I um, put my camera on the windowsill and I thought I would I was recording a time lapse, but it wasn't. It was just doing normal video recording. So I've got a half hour video of the sun rising. How lucky is that? I just found it looking through my camera roll and um, I, li I just play it on the TV. I've uploaded it as a private video on YouTube because it's a little bit boring. Um, it's just for me. And um, and I actually just I actually just sit and watch it for the whole half hour sunrise. I don't know how many times I've watched it. And I just, just have it on in the background. It's lovely. Um, that's what I've had to resort to because I'm stuck in London. And there's Portugal on the TV. The last couple of months have been lots of getting rid and sorting. My paperwork alone took half an hour to burn. I've been helping my lodger move, helping my daughter move. I've seen so many boxes. I don't want to see another box in a long time. Dismantling and getting rid of furniture. The fire was quite cathartic. It felt like a symbol of how things are and where I am with everything just fizzling down to nothing for an end of an era. The last flight I had with EasyJet that had been cancelled and rearranged was the 1st of March and after they cancelled that one they didn't give any other alternatives so there was no chance of getting a flight for a while. So on to plan B and to drive to Portugal. So a ferry to Santander. Now the ferries had stopped all through January and February, but on the 1st of March, they started up again from um, the UK to Santander, Spain. Uh, so I booked a ferry, um, got the car all prepared, checked over, got its little um, health check, uh, packed up all my belongings or the belongings what I had left, and that's it on the road to Portugal. However, 
that did not go as planned and I shall tell you all of that in the next vlog. In fact, you're coming along with me. I had the camera on the dash. I think the footage came out okay. I haven't checked it all yet, but you're coming with me because you know how much I love having you here with me. See you next time. Maybe, maybe not. Till then.